Yo, my name is Benjamin, and in this video, I want to show you how we are bringing back prototyping features to Framer sites, allowing you to design, animate, and publish your interactive prototypes. So let's dive in. The first thing I would like to highlight is that we have two types of pages in Framer sites. We have web pages and canvas pages. You can create new canvas pages by going to the file menu and clicking new canvas page. And this is an example of a canvas page where I have two screens and within a canvas page, I have complete access to the prototyping features of Framer. For example, if I go to the insert from a canvas page, I have a prototyping section with my prototyping components, like my toggles and sliders, as well as cursor, select, loading, and a lot more. I also have access to features like magic motion. So I can click and drag the connector and design magic motion transitions like you are used to. Nice. I can also preview these from here. So let's have a look. Nice. But we are also unlocking all new use cases. For example, if I go back to my homepage, I have set up a demo page here where I can present different versions of a prototype. So I have room for some descriptions and a few links to cycle between the versions. So how do I get my prototype in this web page? So from my web page, I can go back to the insert menu and I can insert a prototype component. I'm gonna drop it in here. And you see, I get a device screen. Here, I can make sure that the content is set to the same home frame we just edited. In this case, mine are named App1 from the Proto1 canvas page. And I can make sure this scales along with the page. So you can see now that it is responsive. And you get a bunch of customization options in the property panel as well. And a way to think about this is that the customization options you previously got in the preview, you essentially now get over here. So I can pick between presets. I can use realistic devices, toggle themes, add hands, and customize the background as well. So I have added my prototype to the web page and I already went ahead and did the same thing for the Proto2 and Proto3 web pages respectively. Let's have a look at the result. So here is the published version of our website. We have a description here, plus we have a fully interactive prototype over here. And I can switch to the next page and you'll see we are also using page effects even for our prototype. And we can go to page three and see a list view. Now this is something you can use to share your ideas, to get feedback from your team or to do some user testing. So that was a quick look at the prototyping features we are bringing back to Framer sites. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.